Hey, yo, what's good with it, baby? And it's your boy, Soldier, checking back in with another message. Lions in the camp, baby. You already knew I was finna say that, man. You already know how we do over here, man. For the one-third, this for y'all. For you two-thirds, stop watching my stuff, man. For real, like, go jump off a bridge. You see what I'm saying? Go somewhere for you fake ones and jump off a bridge. Go somewhere for you fake ones and just wait for Yahweh to just keep you more cursed and wait for the end to come. For on every level, I have many haters, y'all. I'm talking about over a hundred. <laughs> so for you two thirds on every level, man, this ain't for you, man. For the one third, listen up real quick, man. We got to jump into a hot fire topic, man. And I have to use Mr. R. Kelly on this in particular message. I know y'all tired of hearing about this, this guy or whatever, but you're about to hear a lot of new fresh revelations. This is a warning from Yahweh, by the way. And I have to use him as this example because he's a master rapist. That's all this dude is. He's a master rapist. You see what I'm saying? And look for more formats like this, y'all. Yahweh has showed me a way to do this in a different format so I can express myself more better visually as I do this stuff for YouTube. So I found the trick out, y'all. So just stay tuned for powerful answers to your questions and powerful revelations from heaven, man. But in this one, I had to get at Mr. R. Kelly. I had to put a visual together to get you to see a viewpoint of Yahweh real quick, man. So just notice every picture on the screen right now. Kick back and relax. You know what I'm saying? And soak game up, man. For the one third. Yahweh wants women mainly to make smart decisions and trust in his spirit for your blessings. You see what I'm saying? A lot of women have trusted in Satan for their blessings. They wanted this stuff. They wanted Hollywood. You see, I was personally around women who I can look into their eyes. You know, when certain commercials come on TV, even my ex-girlfriend, when certain commercials used to come on on TV, I can see it in her eyes. You know that she couldn't be trusted. I can see it in her eyes that she loved the world. You see what I'm saying? And already knew me not fully wanting Yahweh and chasing what I want to chase and not fully seeing what he wanted from me. He was telling me to let go. I could see that I wasn't going to have a, enough to provide for this demon that you can see in her eyes. And it's the demon that's in a lot of women. A lot of women, they really don't want the Lord, y'all. They want the world. And churches, etc. is the re reason for this. This world in general has put this pride on these women, has put demons on these women. And two-third women, y'all, they chase the love of the world. You see what I'm saying? So you will find yourself at these concerts. A lot of these women are getting hand-picked because you were there. You wanted him. You, you're reaching on the stage, grabbing this man's penis and stuff. You know, I'm just using Mr. Rapist right here, R. Kelly, as an example. You see, but a lot of women, they find themselves in situations you wanted to be in. You're the one in the nightclub. You're the one, you know what I'm saying, on the chat lines, chasing certain things. You just ain't got no business doing. Just women just out here looking for fun in general. And they don't want no lore. So this is why I got to do this, man. Yahweh wants me to sharpen one third women to really focus on him. You know, not just for blessings for a real one-on-one -on -one connection so you can learn how to love yourself take the makeup off get that pride out of here and understand humble yourself in this world that will destroy you you see and he will bless you but for these two-third women Yahweh he really don't feel sorry for women who find themselves willingly using your 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 free will to do this you see what I'm saying and you have faith to walk you have faith you can put faith into anything y'all and make a come up like me i'm doing these messages i'm putting faith into this and yahweh is providing a way slowly but surely but also i can put faith in weed and have a fast come up and this is what a lot of women do they look for a fast come up it's women out here prostituting right now dropping their kids off at their mother's house looking for a fast come up you see what I'm saying? So they'll go travel to go prostitute. And they'll go travel to go do ghetto gaggers willingly. And this is why you will see these dudes slapping the hell out of them, spitting on them and stuff. You sign papers to do this, man. You're nasty, man. So if this fits you, this is a warning from Yahweh right now because, like I said, this stuff been going on since the beginning of the time. Mary Magdalene, I've been telling y'all ways in my old channel on how to get free ladies. You see what I'm saying? Mary Magdalene was the perfect example and once she followed Yahweh Ben Yahweh, she had nothing else to worry about. You see, and it don't say in the scriptures fully what her job was, but she had a great job for Yahweh Ben Yahweh. He was taking care of her by his spirit. You see what I'm saying? And her, one of her jobs was to tend to the needs so far as 
you know what I'm saying, sewing and things like this for the 12 disciples. If they needed their sandals fixed or things like this, women knew how to do this. You see, so she had blessings and gifts from the Holy Spirit. You see what I'm saying? And things like that to maintain her in physical reality. She was blessed. You see, and I told y'all how to get y'all blessings, you know. And if you choose to go down this route, this is how Yahweh will allow you to find yourself in a dungeon. He will allow you to find yourself beat half to death, um, almost somewhere dead. And this is what he wanted me to warn y'all about. He is going to allow more of this to happen. Mr. R. Kelly is a master rapist. And a lot of women who got in his hands, y'all knew this. You see what I'm saying? You went to the concert. He picked you because you wanted it. You standing in there, probably showed your boobs, your coochie and all of this. You see what I'm saying? Willingly. I don't feel sorry for girls like this, man. And you can hear it in my voice and Yahweh don't either. You see, so when you're crying out, it's a lot of women crying out and Yahweh can't help them because once you get the invite from Satan and you go in these folks' houses and you're going to Satan's strip club and you're going to Satan's, you seem to say you're going down any path of Satan prostitution or whatever, you're walking through the doors of Satan doors. So, oh, you might not make it out alive. And guarantee since the 400 year mark is been broken Yahweh eyes is back on one third women it don't matter what race and color you are but mainly for the tribe of Israel and Judah it's a lot of poverty on our women it's a lot of pain on our women they've been meeting nothing but dirty bum niggas they've been getting fed nothing but pride through the TV and a fake image of things to want in life so that's what they go chase and then they'll look down on a black man and the, and the, and their fellow man no matter what race or color if you don't have the amount of funds for a lot of these chicks about 60 65 percent of them they are devils they can't be trusted you see what i'm saying and this is just the way satan got it set up and this is why yahweh wants better parenting he wants a a a a, a renewed mind state you see what i'm saying and I met a girl, y'all. I told y'all in the past, I met many girls. For those of you who've been keeping up with me, you know Soldier has been doing things his way at times. But Yahweh, he shows me a lesson through everything that I do. And I was trying to clean some girls up off the street. And I did a message about this on my old channel before they shut it down. Everything that I'm telling you, I really said it already. This is why I'm refreshing it and remixing it. You see what I'm saying? And look at the format I came up with. You can tell Yahweh helping me. But like I was saying, in the past on my old channel, it was a chick that I met. And um, Yahweh, this is another inspiration for this message because, you see, she was mentally destroyed off of chasing everything of the world. But mainly, she wanted to just party and have fun. She would meet guys on Facebook and things of this nature. And this is why Yahweh cursed her and punished her. And I was wondering, like, man, Lord, why is she so crazy? She will talk to herself. But then when she in her right mind, the Holy Spirit will use her to tell me her secrets. And Yahweh been Yahweh would tell me himself. He was like, son, this is why I won't let her get her hands on a phone or anything, son. I won't let her get out. I'm trying to save her, son, because if I let her get her hands on a phone, I'm talking about this girl couldn't get nothing. And this is why she was, you know what I'm saying? Uh, she was she was starting to cling to me because she could see I was blessed, able to buy things. You see, but it was a mold in a time where she was able to buy things. But due to her keeping her legs up in the air, going to these parties and stuff, Yahweh cursed her to the point where she couldn't even get a phone. You see what I'm saying? And reason being is, you see what I'm saying? She was using her phone to go on Facebook and go out and just meet guys and party. And this is what's in the heart of a lot of women. They bored. A lot of women are, are really want the fast way and they lazy in heart. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about they be bored and they were wanting to just have fun. It's crazy. And this was all this girl was into. Several, all the girls that I met was into this Facebook stuff and meeting these different dudes. And it was by the mercy and the grace of Yahweh that he led them to me. You see, but this one that I showed y'all on Facebook who was wilding out in the little crib, she actually told me a vision that she had that scared me. She was like, I had a vision, you see what I'm saying, of, of my death. And I had a vision that I was up in a dungeon chained up. You see what I'm saying? And I was getting raped and stuff and I was looking around. You know what I'm saying? The dream was going in different sections of me being raped. And then the dream went to another section where I was lined up against a wall with a whole bunch of other women in a dark place. I didn't know where I was at. And it was a, it, I, and I woke up. And I was telling her, I was like, that was your warning from Yahweh. You better just chill. You see what I'm saying? You better stop what you're doing. And even right now, as I think about it, you can tell I'm getting emotional because this girl, she was a wild, not a control. She'll walk up to cars 
talking to people, easy to talk to. You see what I'm saying? And this is when Yahweh was just telling me, son, she had sex with too many men, son. And it was just surprising to see she don't have no disease. She's still alive. You see, but after this little testimony, she told me, man, you know what I'm saying? I ain't seen her since. You see, and this is, what, this is when Yahweh fully gave me this revelation to take this message out of my notes, man. You see, a lot of women are going to come up missing. A lot of women are missing right now. You see what I'm saying? Due to the fact is Yahweh let them walk into their death for chasing the world. And I pray to Yahweh that she's not in, in no bad situation or whatever. You see what I'm saying? But it is what it is. You see, and even the chick Jay, that was one of her problems, wanting to hang out, wanting to party, wanting to chase the world, wanting to try to be independent. You see, so it's levels with this. You see, so if you are a one third woman, heed to this, man. You see, now this level right here where you you end up meeting these celebrities and stuff like this, and you end up in the dungeon and stuff. Oh, this the level two where this is a lot of women with good lives and greedy hearted women hear their stories about this man this is why i had to dive in on this because they walked into this they wanted this man you see what i'm saying so as a one-third woman man you know what i'm saying chase yahweh though you know what i'm saying chase yahweh the right way please his spirit he will bless you you see what i'm saying i don't care what position you in right now what race or color you is you see because them women and this r kelly stuff right here i ain't emotional about this because now they stepping forth trying to get paid off this man and y'all willingly knew he was a devil you knew he was a devil you heard the rumors about him you saw the sex tapes and it's crazy I'm, I'm not finna hold my tongue no more because the sick stuff that i'm hearing man these women are stepping forth telling how this dude loved to have a dildo stuck inside his anal as he masturbates as they push it back and forth as he gyrates his hips and you know what i'm saying make the dildo move in his booty as he masturbates these girls are telling so many secrets you see and who knows how many more girls are missing in dungeons due to this sick pervert but he ain't the only one y'all you see and hollywood is tired of this dude and since they get to spit all this sick stuff i ain't holding my tongue because i'm hearing this on youtube this one more reason why i was inspired to do this i'm hearing about this dude love homosexual type stuff i'm talking about at the max stuff that we already all knew and they'll keep their channels up but but when soldiers speak on it y'all want to play with me this is why i ain't playing no more man <laughs> these dudes all these dudes in hollywood was into this man and you as one third stay clear from this you see these two third women knew this stuff y'all knew these folks in the drinking blood and all this stuff and you wanted that now we come to find out these niggas <laughs> Excuse me for laughing like that. Excuse me, I'm trying not to laugh. Come to find out these niggas like butt plugs and they booties and stuff, man. As they masturbate, the, the lady said he couldn't even get off without the uh, dildo in his butt. Y'all go do y'all research on this, man. This is my first and last time speaking on this. This is basically like a part two uh, to the rapist message I just did. You see, you can't draw sexual energy to you. You see, like I said in part one, and you cannot allow yourself to walk into these situations. You are inviting yourself in the devil's territory. You see, for one third, he, for these two thirds, you always said a lot more that's going to happen. And he is not going to allow a way of escape for you willingly going into this damn devil's home. <laughs> and it's funny, man, all those sick stuff they into, the truth coming to the light. So stay tuned, man. Soldier about to bring it out hard since they get to say it. I'm finna say it in the name of Yahweh being Yahweh with powerful production, with uh, powerful productions. And I got answers to y'all questions for my little niggas who hit me up under the comments. Just chill, relax. I got you. I got everyone third who real. This is one I had to put out, man. So stay tuned, man, and join me on my various other outlets. Um, this will be on YouTube and on Speaker. You see what I'm saying? On iHeartRadio, Spotify, Google Podcasts. I'm everywhere, y'all. Not just YouTube. So when you see these visuals on YouTube, just know. You know what I'm saying? And just look. You can tell Yahweh helping me because look at how I can express it more visually now. So stay tuned for more mixes and more different type of variations of messages, y'all. And um, you heard it here first. A new revelation about this case. I know y'all tired of hearing this, man. It's, you know what I'm saying? He's done. So this is a warning for the one third It's 558 p.m. Sunday, October 27, 2019. So this your boy soldier checking out with more productions coming, man. Had to drop off this fire, man. So um, 
just stay tuned and, and take notes <laughs> and laugh at the truth because it's coming out one.